Hi, this is Susan Delon. In this video, we'll talk about injection molding process limits. Injection molding process limits are necessary alarms and must always be set. We have observed that many in the injection molding industry ignore these process limits. Some of these limits are the following. Maximum injection pressure limit. The maximum pressure or peak injection pressure should happen during the transfer to pack. The limit should be set from 5 to 10% over the peak injection pressure. Upper and lower cushion limits. The cushion is the last position of the screw. The upper limit is just above the cushion and the lower limit is just below the cushion. A starting range could be plus or minus 5% of the distance at the transfer position. Later, that range between upper and lower limits is readjusted in such a way that the significant dimensions and attributes are in compliance. Recovery time limit. The recovery time is the time it takes to move the screw from the cushion to the recovery position. This time limit is set in such a way that the actual recovery time never reaches the cooling time. The limits, maximum injection pressure, upper and lower cushion, and recovery time. Setting these alarms protects the equipment and the quality of the molded parts. Why are they ignored? Although some do it out of neglect, most operators ignore them because they do not know their benefits. What would cause the maximum injection pressure limit to be reached and what could be its consequences? It could be caused by a blocked cavity, either because of a part trapped in the cavity or a plugged gate. The injection unit is programmed to fill 100% of the mold. If for some reason a cavity is clogged, the control has no way of knowing and will continue injecting, causing high injection pressures. These high pressures can cause flash in the parts, melt leaks into the hot runner system, or melt leaks between the mold sprue bushing and the nozzle tip. What would cause the cushion's lower limit to be reached and what could be its consequences? Reaching the cushion's lower limit is an indicator that the melt is seeping somewhere. It is typically the result of a dirty or defective check ring, and it could be that it is leaking somewhere in the mold or between the sprue bushing and the nozzle tip. This melt leak condition, if ignored for a prolonged time, could cause the melt to reach some of the heater bands of the barrel, could reach the wiring of the hot runner system, or could sneak between mold actuators and damage the mold in general could cause substantial damages. In addition, if the lower limit reaches zero cushion, totally emptying the injection unit, it will nullify the holding stage and changes to the parts dimensions could be observed. What would cause the cushion's upper limit to be reached and what could be its consequences? Reaching the cushion's upper limit is an indicator of a blocked cavity or a clogged gate. The consequences could be overpacking the parts, which could cause the parts to jam in the cavity and cause dimensional changes in the parts. What would cause the recovery time limit to be reached and what could be its consequences? Reaching the recovery time limit could be caused by a lack of material. The melt in front of the check ring pushes the screw towards the recovery position. And if the resin feed is interrupted, the recovery time will extend. Systems that integrate pigment dosing in the throat of the injection unit could observe variation in the color of the parts. Do not forget that if the recovery time extends the cooling time, it could trigger an alarm. Universal Molding friends, I hope you enjoy this translation done by Susan. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.